All right, I've been working on a new project, and uh, I did finish the cowbell circuit, and this is what I came up with. You can see it's on a GE uh, doorbell, powered by, it's not powered, it's activated by this push button, and I'm going to have to uh, add one more part before it's finished. Let's see how it works. So there it is, that's the cowbell doorbell. I'll go through it once more. I got the cow sound. And that's the doorbell, the cowbell doorbell. So I've been working on another circuit down here. And I've been waiting for the parts. It's a really simple circuit. It's powered by a 9 volt Rayovac battery. It goes through a power converter down to about 4 volts. And this is what it is. It's it's based on a four-legged LED light, and that's the four-legged LED. And it's called a RGB, or red, blue, and green. Now I got it powered up on these on-off switches, and here's how it works. I got power going from this red line to the switch to the red light through, <clears throat> through a 200 ohm resistor right here. Let's see if this red light works. Okay, there's the red light. That's on. And now the next light is powered by this red jumper through this switch with a green cable going to the light again. Let's see if the green light works. So there's the green light. And the last one, the blue light, I got the red power cable going to the switch with a blue jumper. Let's see if the blue lights and there's the blue light so I can turn on the green light also hard to see but I can get blue and green at the same time that's green and the red one that's red So that's a really easy circuit to build on this little breadboard. Three colors out of one LED with three little switches. Blue, green, and red. And they all go through one little 200 ohm resistor to the ground side of the power. So that's it, it's an easy circuit to build. If you have one of these RGB LEDs. And that is worth some cowbell. Knuckle bump.